I know that you wanted to try something new, but this is really slumming it, Bob. Can we please go to the Ritz? <gasps> we always go to the Ritz. Besides, this place is like popping. I've been wanting to try someplace more normal. Oh God, you're always going on about wanting to be normal. We are in the top 1% of the 1%, Bob. We are never going to be normal. <laughs> We're better than everyone else. Jeez, Becky, you don't have to say something like that out loud. Why? Because I'm afraid of what people might think? Guess what? I don't care what people think. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Hey, you see that woman over there? Yeah, what about her? Oh, you should see how... She's all dressed up, looking at her phone, looking around the bar. I bet all my jewelry, she's currently being stood up on a date. Jeez, you're right. Oh, poor thing. How about we have a little fun? Make ourselves a little game to play. What game? Well, I want you to go over there and charm her. Buy her a few drinks, make her feel special. Okay, then what? And then I'll give you a thousand dollars. Why? Why? Because I enjoy tearing people's hearts out, that's why. Do you want the thousand dollars or not? Okay, fine. Yay. Okay, go do a lap, make it seem like you just got here. And remember, really charm her. Really nice, really sweet. And we'll see if she falls in love with you. Easy money. <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible person. And I love it. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you dining alone? Well, technically I'm waiting for somebody to show up for a date, but it doesn't look like he's coming, so... I'm probably just gonna head out if you need the space. I'm sorry. Online dating can be so rough sometimes. Tell me about it. <laughs> Would you mind if I joined you? Really? Yeah, sure. I mean, we're both alone and uh, in need of some company. Why not? Okay, have a seat. <laughs> Thanks. By the way, I think you look beautiful tonight. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you grew up in Pittsburgh. Uh, what brings you out here? Well, like most people who move out to L.A., I came out here to become a screenwriter. Oh, you are a writer. Well, I used to be. Now I'm a office manager for a recruiting firm, so really made it big. Oh, you're being a little too hard on yourself. <laughs> Plenty of people don't succeed until later in life. You've got so much time. Thank you. And I'm really glad you came and sat with me tonight. This really cheered me up. Of course. You deserve it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go run to the bathroom. Oh, hi there. Hello. So, are you having fun with Bob? Bob? Oh, Bob. Do you, do you know him? I do, actually. He's my brother. Oh. I, he didn't say he was meeting his sister here tonight. I, have you been waiting this whole time? I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh, hi, Bob. Look, I'm getting bored of our game, so you win. Here's a thousand dollars. Now, if you don't mind, I'm getting tired and I'd like to go home. Wait, what's going on here? And why did she give you a thousand dollars? Have you been here the whole time? Well, I gave him a thousand dollars because he just won a little game we like to play. What kind of game? Becky. Well, since you asked, when we go into restaurants and bars, we look for the biggest, dumbest loser we can find and try to cheer them up. And tonight, you were that loser. And it looks like Bob did okay, so he gets to win a thousand dollars. So you both are just evil, awful people. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Becky, why do you have to be so awful all the time? Tina, please wait. Is what she said true? It is. I can't believe I actually thought there were friendly people in the world. Oh, honey, the world is a cold, heartless place. Becky, just stop, okay? Look, Tina, I did accept the thousand dollars to just come up to you and start talking, okay? But over the course of our conversation, I realized how much of an amazing person you are and how we could be actually be really great friends. Really? Yeah. 
and I'd much rather hang out with you than my dumb sister. So what do you say we go hit the neighborhood, hit a couple more bars, and get some more drinks and talk some more? Bob, are you serious right now? Yeah, I am serious. What do you think, Tina? I say why not? Wait, you're my ride. How am I supposed to get home? You're a smart woman. You can figure it out with Dad's credit card. <sighs> Bye. Bye.